then they're the mental traits that you presume only children would have and that we would grow out of, and we don't. One of those is a thing called anthropomorphism, our tendency to see human traits in things that just aren't human, right? For every Disney movie about cars and planes is based on this. A couple of headlamps and a radiator grill, it looks like a face. You can see that a way a child's imagination would fill in those gaps. But of course, we'd still do that, right? You'd think you'd grow out of it, but like, a very good example of this was last year. Those stories that appeared here in, you know, about these mansions in London, in Holland Park, and these 50 million pound houses owned by billionaires, and that's not enough space for them. They want more space, but they can't buy the space of land around them because other billionaires own the land around them and the other houses, so they have to dig down. Remember all this, like all these things about planning permission for four-story deep basements into which they put their swimming pools and they put their theater and they put their servants' quarters and their third kitchen and all we did. And when you get the planning permission to actually do it, you just need to drive a digger into the house and dig, literally move 60 feet of soil out of this and create this massive hole. So you get this massive hole underneath the house with a digger sitting at the bottom of it. And it's really difficult in places like Holland Park to stop it all in order to drive a crane into these narrow roads and lean over and take the digger out. So what they make the digger do, <laughs> they make the digger dig another hole. at the bottom of the big hole. And they drive the digger into the hole. And they fill the hole with concrete. <laughs> loving your reaction. Uh, <laughs> loving your reaction, right? I mean, it's not, it doesn't have googly eyes printed on the front of it, right? It's just, it's just a mechanical shovel. But people go, oh, the digger, right? <laughs> I'd be, like, I, I don't understand being that upset if it was like immigrant labor that they were talking about. <laughs> I mean, that would generally be scandalous if there's a bloke going, well done, lads, excellent digging. <laughs> Could you dig another hole while you're down there, lads? Could you? <laughs> oh, saves us a fortune in ladders. <laughs> if you're upset about that, if you're upset in any way about the, the digger, right, and I could hear the pain in the crowd tonight, I don't even want to tell you how they dug the Channel Tunnel. Kill you if I tell you how they dug the This is how they dug the channel tunnel, right? They got these big chuggy machines, which are like a mole machine. They would dig and pull the soil behind, dig and pull the soil behind itself, right? And they sent them from France and they sent them from England, chug, 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 chug into the ground, creating the tunnel. Chug, 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 chug into the ground. They went down under the English Channel. Chug, 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 all the way down until they almost met in the middle. Chug, 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 chug. And when they're about to meet, chug, 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 they turned them 90 degrees. Chug, 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 off the line of the tunnel and they bricked them into the wall. So genuinely, if you get the train from London to Paris or Paris to London, you pass the last resting place of the chuggy machine that dug the tunnel. <laughs> that kills me. <laughs> Just the thought of the guy on the last day getting into the chuggy machine and turning the key and going, how are you, chuggy? And chuggy turning around and going, will we see France today, will we? <laughs> Any day now, Chuggy. Any day now. Is Calais as beautiful as they say? <laughs> oh, the supermarkets go on for miles, Chuggy. You'll love it. <laughs> can I practice on you? Go on, Chuggy. You can practice on me. Je m'appelle Chuggy. <laughs> oh, Chuggy, that's very good. Will they like me in France? They're going to love you in France, Chuggy. They're going to love you in France. <laughs> Chuggy, we. <oui. laughs> Do you mind turning 90 degrees to the right here just for a second? <laughs> Are we still going to France? Oh, we're still going to France, Chuggy. Don't you worry about that. We're still going to France. You just pull in here for a second. Ah, that's very good, Chuggy. Ah, you're a great little chugger. Ah, well done, Chuggy. Ah, that's great. I'll stop here now for a second, Chuggy. Now, I just, I, just, I just have to get out and do something for a second, Chuggy. So I'm just going to leave you here. You have a little sleep for yourself. Have a little sleep for yourself and dream of chateaus and cheese and bicycle races and vineyards. You have a lovely dream for yourself. Night, night, Chuggy. Night, night. Night, night, Chuggy. Brick it up. <laughs> and on the other side of the tunnel, there's a man walking backwards with a beret on going, couchez vous Chugon. couchez vous <laughs> See, I think that's funny, right? But an hour after every gig, I get hundreds of tweets just going, fuck you, hashtag poor old Chuggy. <laughs> oh.
Hi, this is Dara Breen. This is my YouTube channel. So subscribe and like to get more funny clips.